What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I just wanted to make a quick video talking about kind of my upcoming plans this week, and I wanted to release it uh, and record this video on a Sunday. That way, if anybody wants to join me, you are more than welcome. This coming week, I'm going to be doing another 40-hour, seven-day language challenge. 40 hours, try to get as close as I can. Last time I got, like, it was a little bit over 30. This week's going to be a little bit more... Uh, to see kind of how I manage my spare time because I have a lot of work that I've got to get done this week with some different things. And so it's going to be interesting to see kind of what I can do, how I manage my time and how I kind of go from there. So this week I'm going to do the 40 hour, seven day language challenge. If you're new to the channel, you just try to study basically as much as you can in a week. If you usually get five hours a week, try to get seven. If you get 10, try to get 12 or 30. It's just about challenging yourself more. The ultimate goal ultimately is 40 hours in a week, which is like having a full-time job as a language learner. So that is my plan. This week, I am going to do a little bit differently than what I did, um, you know, a, a, the last couple times or a couple times ago or whatever. I'm not going to watch any material that I don't understand or anything of that nature. I'm not going to watch any TV shows that um, just basically so I can have it on and get my time up. This week is going to be absolutely kind of testing my brain and what I can do because everything that I watch is going to be comprehensible. If you watch my last video, you know that comprehensible input has become kind of my main thing where I spend 80 or 90% of my time in it, but I'm still, you know, maybe 20 or 25 hours a week. Um, I would love to see what 40 hours of comprehensible input or as close to 40 as I can get could do. And so, like I said, I'm not going to have a, just a TV show on just to have it on for the sake of, oh, you know, I'm getting my hours in or anything like that. And so I think it's going to be a real test because um, sometimes, uh, you know, it can kind of wear my brain down because with comprehensible input, I'm having to concentrate a little bit harder because it's like I understand it and it's making my brain be active. And so you know, that's just kind of what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to do videos, obviously things like dreaming Spanish and stuff like that. And then I'm going to do, um, I'm going to read some, I have Ollie Richards Spanish book. This is going to be for Spanish. And the reason I'm picking Spanish versus Japanese is because my Spanish is a much higher level to where I can enjoy the content. And I think it'll be a lot easier to do, to do that, to try and cram 40 hours in versus in Japanese where it's okay, but I definitely need some work. So that's what we're going to do. 40 hours of comprehensible input. No, no nonsense. So, and that's where I've always struggled in the past. You know, I may hit 40 or 50 hours in a week or whatever, but it'll be like, you know, I watched, you know, 20 episodes or 10 episodes of Alice in Borderland. And while the listening is great, it's not comprehensible. It's not forcing me to kind of pay attention. And so that is just what the plan is. Let me know if you would like to join along. Just like last time, I will probably make a couple of update videos throughout the week and kind of go from there. So I'm excited to get started. I'm excited to get into just some language study. Uh, the last couple of weeks, um, I've done good. I did hit my 50 hours uh, on Dreaming Spanish, so I'm technically on the the level two now or whatever it is, but um, I'm anxious to get into this. So let me know if you are uh, participating. Let me know what language or languages. Listen. I, I don't have any kind of judgment. If, if you're if you're wanting to do 40 hours, but you're wanting to do 20 in Hebrew and 20 in Portuguese, then do it. Or 15 in this, 15 in that, 10 in another. I think that's cool. Let me know whatever languages, how many ever languages, and then how much time you would like to try and get. And then let's keep uh, keep each other accountable and just kind of go from there. And just let's just have fun. Let's just try to get additional language study in to try and better how we are in our languages and make sure it is fun. So with that being said, I am going to end the video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I should see you guys. I'm not sure if I'm going to try to update like I did basically last time, but try to update pretty regularly. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.